Hey, everybody. Mark Machete here with Kakai. What's your last name? No, sir, Kerry. And if you call in and say both our names, we'll give you a gift. A gift? Damn. So, yes. Kakai, this Saturday, we're having a special event right here on Facebook about how to create your own local food chain supply, how to turn your backyard into a thriving garden that you can barter, that you can eat, that you can be in your own local local food chain supply. Tell us a little bit more about it and what you're doing right now. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be able to talk about solutions rather than problems. Because normally I'm not allowed to do that. Normally people want to drag me into talking about the problem so much that you never get around to the solution. So I want to thank my friend and brother for allowing me to talk about a solution. You are correct. For the last six weeks, in response to what's going on in our country, economically, politically, and socially, I have been focusing on organizing eight persons to be able to take care of themselves by growing their own food. This is the number one response that you and I should be having to any kind of insecurity, and that's to become more secure by taking care of our own stuff. Now, if you can take care of your own food, it's amazing what other resources seem to open up to you in your neighborhood. I went around the corner and learned that there's a neighbor that I can have a conversation with who's growing bunnies. I like bunnies. I went around to the left instead of going to the right, and I found another neighbor. She's raising chickens. I like eggs and chicken. I got artichoke growing like crazy. I've got kale growing. I've got red cabbage. I've got collards. I've got white cabbage. We've got garlic, and we've got onions, and I'm opening up a couple of other spots in the backyard in order to grow more food. And you are correct. I don't know what people are going to do when the dollar isn't worth anything, but I do know that a head of lettuce, head of cabbage, a bunch of carrots, clove of garlic, some onions, a rabbit, eggs, and a chicken will always be trading on the market because, I don't know, I'm kind of used to eating. Maybe you're kind of <laughs> used to eating too. If you're kind of used to eating the way that Tyson Foods is talking today on the mainstream media, you know, the thing that be lying to us, but I'm going to kind of trust this since this is the second meat plant I've heard of in America that's gone down. There's going to be a major disruption in our food supply nationally. So if you're Kentucky Fried Chicken, if you're Burger King, if you're McDonald's, you're in trouble because your birds are not coming to market. Your cows are not coming to market. Your pigs are not coming to market. They're staying on the farm because there's nobody to consume them. Now, with that disruption, you can either be behind the curve or ahead of the curve. I'd rather be ahead of the curve, which is why I want to introduce you to our dynamic conversation and invite you to do more than just simply exist in fear, freeze, and flight. Peace. So this Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, live, Kakai is going to drop some knowledge about how you can participate in this brand new economy. And trust me, in the Rogue Valley, Medford, Ashland, Jacksonville, Applegate, everywhere in the Rogue Valley, we are a community and we have the ability to create this new economy now so that we're never at the whim of what's going on in the world, right? True. All Very right. much so. True. Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Kakai is going to drop knowledge on how to do it, and we will see you there. Peace.